How goes the day? I am William D. Warren, Earl of Surrey. I have a toponymic surname, because my family owned the land of Varennes by centuries. A toponymic surname is a name taken from a place name. It's also called habitational surname. The development of toponymic surnames is usually related by historians with the concept of lineage and with the importance of patrilineal descent and primogeniture. It has been that way, no doubt, and the proof is the extended use of toponymics exposed in the Doomsday Book at the times of the Anglo-Norman England. Tenants-in-chief, barons and landowners in general used to name themselves with the name of the land they owned. These surnames later will become hereditary names. However, from ancient times, toponymic surnames were not a sure proof of origin. In the year 165 AD, at the Roman Empire, a rescript of Marcus Aurelius Antoninus and Lucius Verus, who ruled together as co-emperors, says that when asked for citizen status, the similarity of names does not afford enough proof all by itself that a name's resemblance with a locality confirms origin from that place. Moreover, Roman freed slaves were often named after the places at which they have been designated, even if they were not born in such places. In the Middle Ages, a spice merchant trying to ensure an economic advantage could have deliberately chosen to call himself the Tripoli, even if it was not his name of birth. Matteo Luz Perusinus, a philosopher and doctor in medicine, was born in Perugia, Italy. But the painter Pietro Perugino was Pietro Vanucci at his birth, and he adopted the surname Perugino because he lived and was famous in that city. Leonardo de Pisa, or Leonardo Pisano, also known as Fibonacci, was an Italian mathematician who was born and died in Pisa. The famous genius of the Renaissance, Leonardo da Vinci, was born as Leonardo di Ser Piero da Vinci. Here we have both a patronymic and toponymic surnames together. Di Ser Piero means son of Messer, a gentleman, Piero, from the city of Vinci. Now, what is important about toponymic surnames? They give us a lot of information about settlement and migration of populations. They are a fantastic historical database. The following is just an example. At some time in the Middle Ages, we can find in Calatayud records in Catalonia, Spain, repeated French toponymic surnames like Lujosoa. They were obviously natives of Lujosoa in France. And what does it mean? That there was an immigration from that Basque city in group, and probably because of some environmental problem like a drought or a flood or a fight with their neighbors. At contrary, if we find in some city records not repeated toponymic surnames, it clearly shows that they were only individual migrations. Toponymics are a very good key for research in history.